Global regulators are taking money laundering seriously and issuing record-breaking fines to banks who break the law. HSBC agreed to pay a record of $1.92 billion in fines in 2012 to U.S. authorities for allowing itself to be used as a medium of drug money flowing out of Mexico and other banking lapses. And even across Asia, regulators are becoming more aware of money laundering that is occurring within their borders and they're looking to crack down on banks that consistently don't follow global standards in KYC. In Hong Kong in 2015, the Monetary Authority fined the State Bank of India for AML lapses, and Mega Bank, a $103 billion Taiwanese bank with one New York office, was also fined by the U.S. government with a $180 million fine for being linked to Panama Papers. But as regulators across the globe crack down on banks, money laundering for high net worth individuals, terrorists and who are not following KYC standards, one question is still on the table. What are Chinese regulators doing? Are they beginning to follow global standards and ensure that their banks play by the rules? They've been opaque about their standards and their demands for a while now. And in this video, let's look into the banking system and regulators and how they view KYC and anti-money laundering within China. Mainland China's regulator, the People's Bank of China, or PBOC, has been relatively easy on banks in the last few decades. But they've made major progress in developing their AML and counter-terrorist funding regime, including strengthening enforcement mechanisms, reforming its legislation, and implementing international cooperation initiatives. Chinese authorities are keeping a closer eye on bribery and corruption more than ever before creating a new awareness amongst Chinese financial institutions. With the dawn of a new and enforced regulation set by the PBOC, the regulators have been recently pushing banks to improve their AML processes and procedures. Lower tier Chinese banks are now taking AML seriously at an executive and more level. But basic procedures in internal AML risk control systems, transactional monitoring processes are still in nascent stages of development. Seeking expertise and advanced analytical tools has become a priority to comply with the regulator's stringent AML regulations. So far, though, only a few Chinese banks have moved beyond this point, but all will be forced to do so in the near future. One of the goals of comprehensively deepening reform will be a continuing process of opening up the financial markets. This puts ever greater emphasis on the need to have proper oversight of these markets and ensure compliance with the law. In this respect, the four comprehensives are closely interlinked as a single government strategy. One crucial area of focus to ensure financial stability will be the combating of money laundering and terrorist funding. Regulators are becoming more serious about ensuring that their banks are complying with local and international regulations and have the proper tools and resources to defend against money laundering and terrorist funding. The Chinese regulator, the PBOC, has taken notable steps to aid its banks in mitigating money laundering activities and achieving sustainable growth. Since 2003, the PBOC has been responsible for issuing the country's AML regulations, and since 2006 and 2007, it has issued significant regulations such as the anti-money laundering law. Since the PBOC's efforts to improve controls in the financial services industry, China's banking industry has made significant advances in establishing AML programs. However, banks across China, especially smaller entities, are facing significant challenges in screening clients, monitoring suspicious transactions, training staff, and implementing software that allows them to have an enterprise-wide view of the movement of funds. Increased pressure from the regulator will encourage banks to look into their AML structures in depth. One, one banker said, we now need to be thinking about an executive level if we are able to fully comply with the PBOC's stricter regulations. Three key areas of focus were a common theme amongst bankers interviewed in China with more than half concurring that KYC processes needed to be strengthened. Effective automated systems were needed to continually monitor compliance and training AML needed to be boosted.
Joint stock banks and lower tier Chinese banks have begun, at an executive level, to take complying with money laundering laws seriously. They are keen to implement enterprise wide transactional monitoring systems in order to spot suspicious transactions at a branch level and over online platforms. Currently, many of them are either working with local vendors that have implemented systems that do not satisfy all the demands of the banks or have just begun looking into working with technology vendors who are able to allow them to create sophisticated regulatory reports and aid their team in preventing money laundering throughout all business lines. Tier 3 and Tier 4 Chinese banks are burdened with manual processes in their AML and compliance departments, and they lack the human resources to meet the demand of these banks. Sometimes they even lack the essential knowledge of local regulations. As the PBOC continues to pressure all Chinese banks to crack down on money laundering and terrorist funding, lower tier Chinese banks will need money laundering and terrorist funding operations to be shut down ASAP. Lower tier Chinese banks will need to continue to work with international vendors and experts to build their AML programs as soon as possible. There is no doubt that all Chinese banks will have to comply with the regulations set by the PBOC in the next few years. As Chinese banks continue to expand regionally, nationally and internationally seeking to increase their customer base, they will have to build a more sophisticated infrastructure that allows them to implement proper customer due diligence and track the movement of funds. Failing to do so could result in costly fines or reputational damage. The regulator has set high standards for Chinese banks in building an AML architecture, including the importance of real-time monitoring and capturing client information. Failing to do so could result in frequent visits from the regulator and even fines and bad publicity, said one regulator to us. The backdrop of recent regulations issued by China's PBOC, regional and C-level Chinese banks are forced to take their AML procedures and processes to a global standard. Currently, many of them are still contemplating how they will begin their journey in establishing a robust AML program. But with stricter and clearer rules set by the regulator, Chinese banks will now have to work with experts to aid them in creating the proper procedures and processes to comply with regulations. These demands will increasingly flow down through the entire financial network to encompass even the smallest entities over the coming years. I hope everybody enjoyed this overview of anti-money laundering regulations and an update on that within China. If you'd like more videos like this or on AML or KYC in general within Asia, please subscribe below and give us a like. I hope you all have a wonderful day.